How's it going guys? My name is Eric Van Wilderman and welcome back to Geometry Dash. In this video we're doing a level called Evil Cherry by Findexy. I was going through the featured levels list and this level popped up. I practiced it. It was so much fun. Really wanted to make a video for it. I was originally going to do something harder today, but I am quite busy. I don't have much time. I was going to practice Sour Cream 2, which I want to do that level. Sour Cream 2 looks so cool. I want to beat it at some point. It looks so awesome. But this level is so much fun, so I figured let's just make a video for it. It's cool. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. It is an easy team, but I'll, I'll show you guys. Now, I am going to be doing a shout out. In this video, I want to do a kind of a special shout out. This is not really like a normal Geometry Dash channel that I shout out, but this Geometry Dash YouTuber is like, it does insane stuff. So, this Geometry Dash YouTuber is called Kruppy or Kruppy or however you pronounce it. I have no idea. But this Geometry Dash YouTuber does levels blindfolded, which is nuts. And I'm not talking about like Stereo Madden is back on track. I've seen some blindfolded playthroughs of those. I'm talking like recently she did electrodynamics. Blindfolded! That's insane! I mean, I, I, I couldn't do electrodynamics like non-blindfolded on my first attempt. Like it would take me a few attempts and maybe going through practice ones to be able to do it again because it's been a while since I played it. She's just like, yeah, just blindfold, just do it. It's, it's insane. So it's something you have to watch. Like, you have to see this. It's crazy. She's also done Hexagon Force and like all the other levels leading up to it, I believe. It's like, it's crazy. So please check it out. The link is in the description. It's in the comments. Let's get down to business and do this level. Okay, just had to connect the controller. Let's get down to business. Evil Cherry by Findexy. I'm going to run through it in practice and show you guys what to do because there's some tips. Now, as soon as you go down there, you jump, you can get that coin. Don't jump there like an idiot like me. Jump, get that coin. Fall down there, hit these jump rings, and you can hit that blue jump ring and just hold the jump button down. It's quite convenient. Now, as you're going through here, there are some jump rings. Boom, 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 boom. And there there we go. Now there is another, oops, Eric, you gotta get on your A game here. There is another coin. You have to fall down there, but you have to press the button once, once you go down there. You can't just fall. So if I let it fall, boom, I just die, right? You gotta straighten yourself out just a tiny little bit. Oops, that was dumb. I went through the jump rings a little weird there. Oh no, I hit it too much there. Okay. So you fall a lot. Boom, and you just hit it a little bit, and then you go through there. And then you gotta do some upside down flying, which is, you know, it's not that bad. It takes a few times to practice. Here, you hit those jump rings. Now remember, when you're hitting these jump rings, oh my god, I gotta start all the way back here. Oh, poop! And when you do go through here, just tap it once, and then don't press anything else. If you try to correct yourself, when you get to a reverse ship, you will die. So you just kinda tap it once and let, let it go, and you'll fly up. It's really convenient, actually. Okay, come on, there we go. Okay, tap. Tap, tap it once when you go through there. If you don't tap it once when you go through there, you're gonna be bone zord. Tap, tap, and then tap it once, and then go through there. Now you don't want to hit it immediately though. Now, let me show you what I mean. Okay, I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help some people out here. Boom, ah, boom, boom, tap, boom, boom. If you hit it too early, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, so you gotta go through there and hit that just a tiny bit late, just a smidgen, but it's not that bad. Now this area here too, you gotta hit these jump rings at the right time. You can't hit them too early. So you go through, whoa, what the hell? So if you hit it too early, you know, uh, you're gonna do something stupid like that. You gotta hit it. Oh, that was actually perfect, right? Oh, well, I guess, you know, hitting it too early is better than hitting it too late then. I'm just too used to it because I've already gone through practice mode on it. <laughs> That's the problem. See, I'm hitting it early there. There we go. That's what happens when you hit it too early. So you jump through right when you're in the middle, you press it and then you jump again. Now, here's one thing that kills me because I'm dumb and I, I can't remember things. So you jump through here, jump, 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 and then you gotta jump immediately there. And you can fall down a lot. The screen like flashes white, but you can fall down for a little bit. Because you want to fall down more than you want to go up. If you press it too early, that's what's gonna happen to you. So fall down, you have lots of room, lots of room. And now it's kind of like an easy peasy part. So if you hit a jump ring right there, you can get a coin like as soon as you go through there. Um, here we go, boom. Boom, boom, and then you hit that. There we go. And now uh, this part's kind of easy. Now, here's one thing I'll show you about this part is it looks like you have to jump here, but you don't. You can just like coast along there. And then it's just like jump ring a mashing and staying straight here. And uh, yeah, it's like kind of easy. There's only one other part in this level right here that will kill you. Boom, just fall. Now that part right here is the part that's gonna kill you right there. So far it's easy, but boom, 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 boom. And then it changes and you gotta kind of like go into that. You can't be too high as you're going through there. So let's go one more time. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I was too high, right? I was too high. Shit, don't press anything. You're gonna wanna press buttons, okay? Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta calm down. Boom, there we go. And then mash that. And we're pretty much good to go now, aren't we? And that's it. 
it's a lot of fun. There are some quick transitions, but it's it's a lot of fun. Has good gameplay. I always like to say it's one of those levels that just feels good in your hands, but that's basically what people say good gameplay is. So it has good gameplay. Evil Cherry by Findexy is a pleasure to play. It's a fun little easy demon. Let's see how many attempts this is gonna take me. Let's try to do it in one attempt. Never done it to the song though. Oh my god, it's Extruler, right? Extruler songs are like pretty hardcore. Sounds ominous. I, I might have to turn this music off. Like anytime the music's like super hardcore like this, it like freaks the shit out of me. And all the effects are on the level as well. Oh my god! All the effects are on the level. There's gonna be all sorts of blinking and booping and shit. Oh my god, it looks, yeah, it's so much more vibrant. Holy shit! Okay, oh, get your eyes ready, Eric. You old man. Oh! No, I went too early. I knew I, I knew I had gone too early there. Got to go down a little bit. The wave's all about just getting the feel for it, you know? You definitely got to get the feel for the wave, and I always panic when I'm doing the wave, and it sucks. Wave is just the worst game mode for me. I got to get better at the wave. Eric, you got to remember that coin. I died on purpose there because I'd forgotten the coin. I got to get that coin, and I got to practice the wave! Man, all those, <laughs> the blinking lights. Okay, I keep on forgetting these coins. I just can't remember them for the life of me, okay? Is my memory fading at the ripe age of 29? Are you kidding me? Life, how could you have done this to me, right? Literally. Get it, there we go. That's how you remember like a champ, but you fucking suck dick after that, Eric. What the hell? Come on. Okay, I seem to be having this bad habit of not flying high enough as the rocket when I'm reversed rocket. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Boom, 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 boom! Go down! Oh god, I, I went really far down. I, I really overcorrected myself there. See the wave, man. Like, I always... I hold the button down too long. I play the wave like I play a ship. And that's not how you're supposed to do it. Like, the ship, you kind of like, uh... You can go high and then you can go low like one time. You don't have to like balance out your presses as much. I mean, unless it's like super straight flying, right? But the wave is definitely a no-no. I missed a freaking coin there. This is, oh my god. As soon as I miss a coin, I just don't care. Fuck the coins! You know what? No. I don't even care about the coins anymore. I don't even care. There we go. I got the coin. Tap. I got, oh man, I tapped. What the, just the blink. It's blinking all over the place. <gasps> this level is having a seizure and I'm trying to play it. I'm trying to fly through these tight spaces, but the level's like, <laughs> Ah, no, I, I tell, oh, man, I hit it just like the smidgen too late there. I thought I had it. I went through there. I was like, got this jump ring, and it's just a. Sm oh, that was. <laughs> oh, that sucks. That sucks. Yeah, of course you have to die to like the easy shit, Eric. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, God, just had to wait a tiny little bit. Oh, I had gone through the jump rings a little strange, though. I went through them a little awkwardly. I was going, I was flying a little too high. So I pressed it how I normally would have pressed it if I was just going through at a normal rate. And uh, that it just messed me up. Eric, you gotta learn to adjust, baby. You gotta learn to adjust. But if you were a good player, you wouldn't have to adjust because you'd do it the same every single time now, wouldn't you? Damn. Fuck! Forget! Fuck! Ow! See, you know what? When I die, I always mention this, but when I die on like hard parts, or when I die on harder demons, I'm like, oh, you know what, man, this is a hard level, I don't mind dying there. But when I die to like easy demons, like this, like forgetting that stupid coin! It's like the most frustrating thing in the world, knowing like, Eric, this is really easy and you can do this, like pretty easily. What's wrong with you, right? And you really, get, man, just, maybe I'm too hard on myself, what the fuck happened there? Can he do it? I shouldn't have said anything. I really shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Come on, Eric. Don't have jinxed yourself. Oh, oh God! Fuck, I, I really, did I, did I really just fly up there? I, I really, I did that, I did that. I was, I was going straight. I was like, yeah, I'm going straight again. I just, I just literally f straight flew up to the fucking, are you kidding me? Oh. And in true Eric Van Wilderman controller fashion, it just disconnected. I think there's something linked to my mood and my controller disconnecting. Like, it's gotta be. Like, when I get, like, super angry, my controller disconnects a lot. Like, my, my controller feels 
my emotions. Very, very strange phenomena. Come on! Yeah, I thought I was gonna die there. I really like when I went through the wave, the mini wave, I thought I was too slow to go up in the mini wave. But I did it, yo, baby! Oh yeah, that's right. I just popped this level's friggin' evil cherry, yo. <laughs> Pop that shit left and right. Yeah, I'm so cool. Anyways, Evil Cherry by Findexy. It's a great level. You should try it out if you're new to demons. It's a great level to try. It's great. It's just fun. You should just play it anyways. It's a fun level. Remember to check out Croopy or Cruppy, however you say it. It's in the the links in the description. I mean, those videos will blow your mind. I'm telling you, they'll blow your mind. They blow my mind. It takes a lot to blow my mind in in my old age. Hey, but you know, like that level blew my goddamn mind, and or the video blew my goddamn mind. And you should really check it out. Anyways, really cool. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like down below. It helps me out immensely. And as always, guys, peace.